Hey, I'm Brian Granz and we're here at the Volo Auto Museum. Today we're going to be talking about this very unique car. Uh, this came from the movie Son of the Mask. I know it wasn't one of the most popular movies out there, but I tell you what, they sure created a cool car for it. It's like a giant Hot Wheels. Now, a lot of people don't know is how much difficulty actually goes into getting acquisition of some of these TV and movie cars. I was on the hunt for this car for about 10 years before I was actually able to get it. When I was out in Hollywood buying some TV and movie cars, I seen this car sitting in the corner of one of the film studios, and I thought, man, that is so cool, I gotta have it. So I asked them how much they wanted for it, and they said it wasn't for sale. It belonged to New Line Cinemas, and they weren't ready to sell it yet, but they said, you know, give them a call back in a couple months. Well, I ended up, I called them back a couple months later, and now New Line Cinema is being bought out by Warner Brothers, so they couldn't sell any of their assets. Give them a call back in a few more months. Well, now it's been acquired by Warner Brothers, and Warner Brothers doesn't want to sell the car. And it's just been ongoing over years. Like I said, 10 years it took. And finally, Warner Brothers decided they were ready to let go of the car. So, you know, immediately sent them out a check because I wanted to get it before they changed their mind again. So here we have the car. And what it is is that it's an Australian Holden which is kind of like the same thing as a 2000 Pontiac GTO. So it's actually powered by an LS1 motor, a lot of characteristic to the car. It actually shoots flames out the back. The interior has all kinds of gadgets, switches, uh, and they're pretty funny if you actually read what's written on the dash. They uh, put some innuendos in there because they knew the cameras weren't going to zoom in on you know, what was said. So even though it was a movie that was you know, kind of for kids, there's a lot of adult humor if you look over the car. Uh, this does run and drive. It's on an air ride suspension and, well, I can't wait to, to drive it down the road myself. Now, if you'd like to see this car and lots of other cars that are just off the charts weird, come on out to the Volo Auto Museum. You can also go to our website, volocars.com, and find us on Facebook.